I am well. So, is it all your fault? <laughs> is it always women's fault, Kayla? Kyla. No. Kyla, Kyla. I'm sorry, Kyla. Okay, hi. So, I do think we should take our, you know, hold ourselves accountable. But I'm in this chat because I was with the guy for seven years. He was a really good guy. Um, and I wanted marriage, but it didn't happen. Okay. I ended it. You ended it. Yes. Okay. Um, so I got to, how old are you? 35. 35. Seven years. How long ago did it end? A year and a half now. January will be two years. Oh, you marked the anniversary. Damn. You ended it. Where is he? What is he doing now? I don't know. Um, he's grinding, as he always said. So I got to ask the question, sis. Did you go to college? I did. So... Did you know in college that you wanted to be a married woman? I did. You know the follow-up questions. Why did you accept a man who wasn't marriage-minded? He said he was. We talked okay. about it. Um, we talked about it from the beginning. Okay. And I just think over the years, I feel, honestly, I feel he wasn't ready for marriage. He always, his excuse was always, um, I'm not where I want to be. You deserve somebody. Oh, that's some game. Yeah, I know. And that's I, some bullshit. No, no, no. Where's Where's Dad at, Kyla? Kyla? Dad is here. Okay. My parents have been oh. together for 30 So years. did Dad meet him? Yes. Did Dad approve of him? Yes. Did you meet his mom and dad? I did. Okay, there's something off here. I got to do a little probing. Because the dad approved of him. Does that mean he was lying to dad too? I guess so. My whole family approved of him. He was a good guy. He was a good guy, but but if you're saying you were talking about marriage, okay, let's move the football. In what time frame? Because that's a, well, it's one thing to talk about marriage as a global concept. But at, at, at the two-year mark, you should be talking specifics. Um, and then, but what happened there? Very early on, we talked about it. He said, you know, just give me a few. Let me. Get I want to go to year two. I want to go to two, year two. Year two. Yeah. Year two. Year two. Okay. Let's do this. What are we doing? What are we moving towards? He says, I do want to marry you, but I'm not in a predicament to marry you yet. Okay. So what did your father say in year two when he said that to you? Honestly, he, he didn't, he didn't say anything. What does your dad do for a living? He is a plasterer, construction work. Does your mother earn more than him? My mother is a registered nurse. Does your mother earn more than him? She does. Okay. Um, Considerably more. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Um, how this should have worked? was you should have gone into this sounding like you sound, but in year two, if there was not a ring, you just walk. Let me, let me tell you ladies one of the things, one of the worst things you do is hanging on to men who, who tell you stuff that doesn't make sense. You know it, it didn't make any sense to be with him another five years. He still had access to your body, correct? He did, yes. Okay, but he wasn't paying the price. You're right. So this is where I gotta go back to you, because even if dad dropped the ball, you're not a you're not a, a young girl. You met him at 26. 26. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, sis. Because, and why am I hammering on this? Because this is going to be the template that you take into next in, in other relationships. I know. And that's where I, I want to make sure that I'm not doing things wrong. Um, and I guess that's why I called in because this, this topic is relatable. Am I at fault? I guess I am. Yeah, you're at fault. You're, you're, at, you're at fault for, okay. I think, 
especially for a man over age 30. How long? Well, let me ask you a question before I say anything. How long do you think it should take a man to propose? I'm with the year and a half, two years. But I saw a potential. And I wanted to be his back. I asked you, how long do you think it should take a man to propose? A year and a half. Okay, lean, lean in. Let me, let me, let me talk to you. Lean in a little bit. I know. No, six months. A man knows whether or not he wants to. Ma- a man knows whether or not he wants to be married or not. Men do not. Fall in love and decide to get married. That's what you guys do. Husbands go looking for wives. How many times have you heard stories where we met in under three days, we were married? Six months. Six months. So many times. Six months. And then I know there are a lot of guys in the chat room. Oh man, uh, you 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 got a vet and something and so forth. Those guys aren't husbands. I don't listen to guys who talk about it's going to with the way people are. Look, you can find, you can run any background check or anything you need to know about somebody with today's connected world and have the wealth of information. Because you can't know about it. You won't know anybody until you actually are married and move in together. You won't know the truth. So I, I reject when I see unmarried dudes, dudes that have never been married, talking about, oh, man, that's going to take me at least two or three years. Then carry your ass on over to wherever you think you'll find a sucker that's going to just say you don't want to be married, dude. They're not ready for it. And conversely, a lot of women have bought into this stuff. You don't have two or three years. It should take six months or less. So let me help the young women. Young ladies, if you know you want to be married, lead with marriage and don't deal with men who are not talking about marriage, not as a global concept, but specifically put a clock on it. I'm not telling, don't play games with men, but hey, if you're not talking marriage and I have people in my Facebook group who are are dating already and they're already talking, marriage is a foregone conclusion of people in the group these particular folks. So yes, it's, it's your fault for letting it go on, but how do you get out of this ditch? First, are you in counseling or therapy? She muted herself. Let me unmute you. Are you in counseling or therapy? Sorry. I I don't know how I got on mute. Um, I am not in any. Oh, I just kind of been trying to do it on my. Nope. Let me say that again. Let me say it real loud so you can hear it. Your best thinking got you in the ditch you're in right now. I know. Why not go to, th- why not go to therapy? Oh, I'm going to go. Because, I'm gonna go. one, you want to, you want to, you, you're going to have to completely bury this. How long have you guys been apart? Two years? Yeah, going on two years. Yes. All right. So, Popular theory says about a third of the time you're with somebody is how long it takes to process it. Yeah. You want to make sure this is dead. Have you gone no contact with this person? I have. It was dead. It was over for me long before, you know, I ended it. Um, no, no, I just need to know that you're not. Are you Are you guys communicating? Do you have visibility to one another? No, we don't. We don't. Then that, that's it. That's what I mean. So... Therapy to make sure you are clear. See, if you know you want to be married and have kids, how old did you say you were again? 35. Yeah, see, you no time to play. No time to play. Um, therapy has to therapy has to happen. Um, are you do you actively work out? I do. All right. Because fitness has to be on there. Um, but this can be this can be salvaged because let me give you the positive side. You have history of, of dealing with a man for a length of time. It was just the wrong man. There are plenty of women out there who have two or three months history with a man and they are serial daters. 
Those are the kind of women that really give me pause because they're not relationship people. You just have to um, reevaluate some things and make sure that you're one, you're not dragging in old memories to new situations. And two, that you're very clear about what it is you want and why, and then what you have to offer, i.e. bring to the table. Got it? Got it. I have a lot to bring to the table. Okay. Well, that's for you to tell the people that want to get married. I'm just putting it out there for everybody else. All right. Thanks for calling in, sis. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, Caroline, sweet Caroline, da, da, da. how are you? I am well. How old are you? I'm twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay, I, I need you a little closer to the microphone. Is it always yo? Is it always women's fault? Um, I don't actually know. I think that's why I'm calling is because I I don't really have um a lot of experience. Uh oh. And when I got I got into it kind of late and I was kind of scared off by the amount of dysfunction on all sides. What I was hearing. What are you, what are you talking about? I got into it. Like the whole dating thing. Um, I got into that really late because of my upbringing. And what do you mean late? How old? Like last year. Yeah. So tell me about your dates, not the dysfunction in everybody else. Yeah, I think that that was what it is. It was my dates would like talk to me about their dates, and it's the same thing. So I need to, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You're 27 years old. And you just started dating when you were 25 or 26. 26, yeah. Why? Um, I grew up in a pretty sheltered home. I'm a Christian. So am I. Yeah. We they I still date. I hmm? right, so am I. I. I grew up Church of God in Christ. Some of the most Religious people on the planet, but there was still plenty of dating. Yeah, not not in my life. And I'm also Nigerian, and so um, okay. it's very much kind of like don't even think about a boy until you're finished with school. Right, when did you finish with school? Um, when I was 23. So there's, uh, there's been plenty of time to think about boys. Yeah, and I think that was my problem is that after I left school, um, I just, because I didn't have like what you were saying, the skills to deal with okay. men. I was just I'm, like, hearing, I'm hearing excuses, okay. ma'am. I, 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 I'm hearing excuses. Sorry. I mean, no, no. I'm, what I'm telling you is I'm hearing excuses because there are not, I deal with Nigerian college educated women who, who are Christians and they have, they date. That sounds like a cover. Where's your dad? Um, he passed away last year. Sorry to hear that. What did he tell you about dating? Did he tell you to avoid men completely? The only thing he told me about um, dating uh -huh. was um, men aren't serious until they're uh, 30. Were your mother and father married? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. Were they married at his passing? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? I don't do the mm-hmm. I need yeses or no's. Okay. All right. So... Uh, were you born in the States? Yes. Okay, so being Nigerian doesn't matter. You're culturally here. Your parents are Nigerian. You're American. Right? Yes. Have you lived in Nigeria? I uh, know. Have you visited Nigeria? No. You're not Nigerian. So what it sounds to me like, ma'am, what state are you in? California. North or Northern or Southern? Uh, I grew up in Northern California. But are you in Southern or Northern now? I'm in uh, Southern. Sounds like you're a, a, a socially awkward girl, a woman. And you have Nigerian Christian to use as a reason. But I'm a Christian and I'm an American. Church of God and Christ. Women cannot wear pants or makeup. So I'm saying, um, it, all right, let's fast forward. When you started dating, something changed. Mm -hmm. And how did you meet the guy you went out, the, the people you went out with? I just went on um, one of the dating apps. So you went from no dating to a dating app. 
You know those are horrible places to find people, right? I don't. I didn't know anything. I still don't know. Anything. Okay. Um, well, where's your mother? She's here with me in uh, Southern California. You have any siblings? I have a little brother. Okay. Is your mother okay? All right. So. At 27, 26 or 27 years old, man, you sound like a, a teenager. Going on apps to find someone to date is a horrible idea. Uh, you're not ready for the cesspool that's online. Are you active in your church? Um, yeah, I am. Are right. you sound are you sure? Well, I had to think about what you meant by active, but I'm I'm a leader in my Bible study. Um, are you, how often are you uh, at church? Uh, right now, um, not all, but, uh, when it was not COVID, then, um, I was just there every Sunday, right. oh, every Sunday and Wednesday. And, is, and okay. What about the singles ministry? Uh, there isn't one. That's not my problem. What about your pastor? Um, Is he involved in helping you try to find a mate or a date? No. Hey, young lady, somebody has to help you. You don't know what's going on out here. You're using, uh, you say, because you're a Christian, but Christians uh, get it in. <laughs> they do. They date, too. I'm um, assuming you're still a virgin. Yeah. All right. Well, that presents several potential challenges. You can't do this on your own, though. You have nobody to talk to. It doesn't sound like you talk to your mother. Your father's gone. And my mom's with me, but she she allowed you to get to, to this age. She's not anybody that could help you. There's no way you should, your mother should have allowed you to get to be this age and this naive about men. But here's the thing. You're close to 30. It's time for you to stop doing the little girl thing. And step into the woman thing. Do you live on your own or do you live with your parents? Um, I moved back with my dad. Uh, do you live? Uh, that question was a direct question. Sorry, uh, at home. Right. Why? I wanted to. Uh, Can you afford to live on your own? Hmm? Can you afford to live on your own? Um, That's a yes or no question. Right now, no. All right. So. That's the problem. Everything that I ask you, you make it to be a virtue. You're 27, you're living at home. Where, you, where should you be? You should be out of the nest, working and taking care of yourself amongst adults. Yet yeah, you went back to high school. I mean, I was living on my own, but. Okay. But what? It's just my dad passed. I understand. I'm not, I, I'm not, I understand, man, but, and I'm not trying to be harsh, man, but life happens. If everybody went back home and lived with mom because dad passed, that's not your responsibility. You have a life. And I asked you, can you afford to live on your own? And you said no. Right? I mean, I could figure it out. Ma'am, can you afford to live on your own? Um, I don't know. What do you do for a living? I'm an actress. That's not a career. Did you go to college? Yeah. You have a college degree? Mm-hmm. In yeah. what? I have a Bachelor of Arts in Drama, Television, and Film. Right. And how much did you make last year as an actress? Last year, I didn't make anything. Little girl, it's time to grow up. I mean, are you trolling me? Are you trolling me? How much? This year, I made 20000 I'm thinking on camera real quick. Young lady. That's $10 an hour. Okay. 
This is unacceptable, ma'am. So, does money matter? Are you fucking kidding me? What do you mean, does money matter? Do they give food away for free? I mean, I'm not talking to a 18 year old. You're 27. Why is it? Okay, you're an actress. That's just another word for not not having a job. Have you ever held consistent employment? Yes. How long? Um, a year and a half. Working for whom? Warner Brothers. Doing what? Um, I was an administrator. And why are you no longer there? Um, I couldn't deal with the hours. What do you mean you couldn't deal with the hours? It was just very um, draining to be in that environment. What does that mean? How many hours were you working? Um, like 10. 10, on 10 what? Hours. A day? A week? A year? What? Oh, sorry. A uh, um, 40 to 50 hours a week. Are you looking on the chat room? No. All right. Ma'am, how many hours is an adult supposed to work in this country? 40. And that's what you were working? 40 to 50. And you couldn't deal with that? I mean, it wasn't really the work. It was the type of work. Then go find another job. Um, you can do the little, you can do the little doe eye, I, uh, I feel sorry for me thing, but that, that doesn't work in the world, sis. No, I'm sorry. I just, um, I thought maybe I'd get, um. Get what? It's okay. I'm sorry. You need, you need to be able to take care of yourself. That is something that every college student knows. You don't leave from college without them expecting you to go to work. And you graduated at what year? What age? Um, I technically graduated at 22, but um, I graduated early. So for, 20, so for the last five years, so you went to college. Do you have student loan debt? Mm-hmm. Is that a yes? Yes, sorry. How much student loan debt are you in? Um, maybe like thirty k. $30,000. And who's paying that? Me. How? I figure it out. No, 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 no. How? Um, I was working as a teacher online. Um, and then I was working in the UK uh, when I was living there. Um, then I was working for a realtor. Okay. So here, here's what it comes down to, young lady. Um, it's time to grow up. It's time to grow up. Um, you're living at home with mama. And she's paying. Who's paying the mortgage? Uh, we don't live in a house. We moved out of the house. Who's paying the, the, who's paying the overhead? Both of us share it. Hmm. <sighs> Who is paying the rent? We share it. How? I mean, I'm working as an actor and I work as a teacher. You made $20,000. In acting. How much is the mortgage or the rent? $2,100. Per month. Hmm. How much are the utilities? Um, How much are the groceries? Do you have a car? Yeah, we share a car. <sighs> and you make enough money. This is crazy. Let me help you out, young lady. No one's going to come save you. No man's going to come fly in and say, hey, 
thirty year old thirty thousand dollar debt. Hi, let me just he the Vecla be getting a child. And you need a wake-up call. Knock off the acting stuff. That's what you do after you have a 40 to 50 hour a week job paying some bills. Because this has to be in whose name? Who's who's the, the you live in an apartment or a rental house? An apartment. Who's is your name on the lease? Yes. Uh, maybe California is different, but you have to be able to have credit to, to live there. So what I'm hearing from you, what I'm hearing, ma'am, is $2,100 for apartment rent. That's $25,000. And how much other rent do you pay? What, how much money do you pay a month? Um, how much do you pay? Like 1000 Okay. Dating's not on your radar, young lady. Okay. It's time to grow up. Okay. Um, fantasy land, acting. Uh, my ex-wife was an actress, and she and she used to think I was being too serious. She never got it. Never. She never got off. It never went anywhere. She did national commercials, short film, but the most successful she was was when I was there. What do you? What kind of acting do you want to get into? Film. Yeah, film. Motion pictures. What? Um, film or television. Do you have an act? Do you have a? Uh, you have an agent? Yes. Are you SAG? Reg are you registered? Are you SAG? No. <laughs> and how do you think you're gonna get in at your age? Um, I mean, there's actually. A study that most people, male and female, don't get into the acting business. A, you said a, stu a study. Yeah, like a after. study. But but again, ma'am, I was married to an actress. What does your body of work look like? What does my work look like? Yeah, what kind of work have you done? Um, I just finished a children's educational show on uh, uh, an educational platform. Ma'am, yeah. ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Let's mm -hmm. let's not play with one another. Mm -hmm. I, and it, a lot of stuff can be called work. Have you done any print work? Print. I don't do print. Okay. And you got paid how much to do this children's educational platform? Um. So far, I've been paid twenty thousand, and I'll be paid another twenty thousand. Twenty thousand for how long? For uh, two months. And that was what you took home? Was what your agent, what did your agent get out of that? Uh, 5000 So you got fifteen. Yeah. So you didn't get 20000 Okay. See, I know the business. And outside of that, what other work have you done? You got nothing the last year. You've made $15,000 once. What what other money have you made in acting? Oh, uh, that's it. And I and how long? How long have you been a quote unquote actress? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. You made fifteen thousand dollars. This is going to hurt, young lady. Pay attention. You suck at this. It's time to go get a job. You live in California. You can't afford to dream. You need a job. Thank you. This may sound harsh, ma'am, but you're living in a fantasy world. And I would gather that most people listen to you and feel sorry for you, but I can't afford to do that. 
I know how difficult it is to get into acting. Hell, I'm in media right now. I know how and I know what people call platforms, things today. The bottom line is you're not an actress unless you're making money at it. You went to college. You went to college because you need a career. No one's going to take care of you. No one's going to take care of me. We got to take care of ourselves. And you're 27, not 21, 27. And telling me the job that you worked was too hard. It was too stressful to whatever. You got to grow up, sis. And that may be a bitter pill to swallow, but I'm going to tell you right now, God forbid if your mother was get, to get called home to glory because we're mortals, right? Life is not promised to either of us. And if mom were to pass, what position would you be in? And that's what you have to think about. Mom and dad's job was to make sure you were capable of surviving on your own, educated uh, and, and, uh, and socialized. Now the grown up part, that's for you to do. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Bye. 